So, just now we have seen uh, the probability of error or SCR, symbol error rate for 4 CSK constellation. Now, this is for the 8 CSK constellation and here in this diagram we have shown the decision regions. So, for P1 this is the decision region for example. For P7 this is the decision region. Similarly, for other constellation points. Uh, so, in the similar way one can calculate the probability of uh, uh, symbol error rate for 8 CSK system and this is a example of a 16 uh, CSK constellation diagram and corresponding decision regions. So, actually some of the decision regions are you know of same shape. So, you will get same value of probability error for example, uh, P2, P5, P6. Uh, so, these are of same and then there are P4 and P9, they have different shape. So, you need to calculate probability of error for each one of them and then sum them up, take the average. So, this is for example for P1 and P14 and P15, they have same decision region. So, you will get same value here, which is the decision region for you know P15. So, similarly you can calculate the probability of error for each of the decision region and then total probability of error can be calculated. This is for a 16 uh, 4 CSK constellation points. So, basically if you see the, uh, the constellation diagram and the decision regions is same for all the points. So, you calculate for any one point and then uh, one can find out the constellation point, the total probability or symbol error rate for a 64 CSK constellation distribution. And if I plot those curves, because that integral is difficult to solve, so you have to solve it numerically and this is a, a result for different uh, CSK, this is 4 CSK, 8 CSK. 16 CSK and 64 CSK and these are the simulation and analytical results. So, the dashed lines are uh, uh, analytical results and the hard lines are simu uh, simulation results. So, in this side you have the PSNR which is given as PT square over 3 and naught and this side you have the symbol error rate for different constellation diagrams. So, for uh, 4 PSK for example, to meet 10 days to a minus 3, you require close to 7 or 8 uh, dB of SNR and as you increase the value of m or the number of points because the distance between the equilibrium between the two constellation points or the equilibrium distance gets reduced, hence you require more PSNR or more power for the signal to get 10 to minus 3 and the same holds for 16 CSK and 64 CSK. So, this uh, with this we complete the discussion of uh, CSK modulation. So, in this lecture we understood about the CIE diagram which is one ninth the chromaticity diagram where you can map any color to x y coordinates and then uh, we discussed the advantage of CSK the block diagram of a CSK system and we also calculated the symbol error probability for a 4 CSK system and also discussed you know how to calculate or how to find out the decision regions for 8 CSK or 16 CSK and then we have seen a comparative study of uh, you know different MCSK uh, in this particular diagram. So, this completes the discussion of uh, color shift key and also uh, towards the end one of the TA of the course will explain how to simulate a CSK system using MATLAB. So, you will get a chance to uh, understand how to simulate a CSK system. Thank you. Mm -hmm.